Welcome to the series where I test out money making methods from the OSRS wiki. Feel free to leave suggestions on which money maker you'd like to see next. And also, if you didn't already know, I have a nice playlist that I've created that has all of the previous money makers that I've already tried. So go ahead and check it out if you haven't already. With that being said, let's get into the video. So for today's video, I thought we'd go ahead and make some pineapple pizzas. Now this suggestion is from two months ago. It did take me a while to get to it, but as you guys know, there are a bunch of suggestions that you guys send in and I encourage it because it is very helpful to have a list of ideas written down for future videos. So keep sending them in. I also want to remind you that if you do leave a suggestion in the comments, make sure that you write one hour in front or in the end of it. Uh, that way I can more easily find these suggestions whenever I'm combing through the comments. With that being said, now we can go ahead and jump into the video. Now the reason why I picked the pineapple pizza suggestion was because it had actually been a while since we have done a moneymaker from a bank or the crafting guild, which is what I use to bank. Now, I did try out this moneymaker when I first got the suggestion, but at the time, the prices were very different compared to the wiki. It said that it was around 800k an hour around the time that I got the suggestion, and whenever I worked out the math on the supplies, it was far from that, so I ditched the idea. But since the prices have settled down to a reasonable amount, I thought we'd give it another shot. Now, as for the gear setup, you won't be needing anything except the plain pizzas and the pineapples. But of course, I always have to wear the max cape and I have to wear the best helmet in the game, which is the golden helmet. But for this particular moneymaker, I will make an exception. Instead of the golden helmet, you can go ahead and wear the chef's hat. That one is suitable for this moneymaker since we are making pizzas. And if you have the golden chef hat, even better. Now, when I first got this suggestion, I was kind of worried because I was afraid that I was going to have to make the pineapple pizzas from scratch, kind of like I did in uh, Corend whenever the Twisted League was happening. That was kind of, it wasn't that bad, but it, I just didn't feel like doing that. When I found out that it was just combining the pineapple rings with the plain pizzas, I was pretty relieved. Now I'm going to go ahead and explain some plugins that I use to make this method a lot easier. We're using the menu entry swapper to adjust our shift click. Basically, whenever we hold shift, we want the pizzas and the pineapple rings to have the use option instead of the drop option. Now, the reason I did this is because the left click on these items is eating it and you don't want to be eating it when you're trying to make the pineapple pizzas. Another plugin that I was using was the camera zoom plugin and that was just to get closer to the bank chest so that the inventory was very close to the bank chest and you wouldn't have to move your cursor that much. Another plugin you can use is the screen markers plugin to mark where the deposit inventory button is but I chose not to use it just because I didn't really need it. But the last thing we're doing before we start the moneymaker is setting up our bank fillers so that we can put the plain pizzas and the pineapple rings towards the bottom to be close to the deposit all button. This would just make banking easier. You can then set your withdraw X option to 14 for one click withdrawing. And with all those settings and plugins set up, we can now start the one hour of making pineapple pizzas. Also, don't forget to have a placeholder for the finished product, which is the pineapple pizza. Whenever I started this video, I actually forgot about that and I had to restart because uh, I was losing time. The pineapple pizzas wouldn't bank because my entire bank was filled up with the fillers. So just keep that in mind. So like I said earlier in the video, I previously tried this out, but I passed on it because the prices were out of whack. Um, the GE prices or the market prices that are there are not very accurate because I guess these items are always jumping around. For instance, the pineapple rings, I put a price in there for market price and they instantly bought for a much lower price. So I was able to make a little extra money on those pineapple rings. The plain pizzas on the other hand did take some time to sell. So I had to leave an offer in there for a couple hours before they all came through. But it is important to note that if you do plan on doing this as a money maker, don't just buy the supplies instantly, put them in there for a decent price and then just let them buy over time. That way you make more money in the long run. Same thing with selling the finished product, which is the pineapple pizza. You want to make sure you put that in there for slightly over market price 
and then just let them sit there until they finally sell. You'll make a lot more money that way, especially if you make a lot of these pizzas. Like with any of these money makers that I do where I am combining two different things, make sure you check the price of all the items involved and the price that you can get for the final product and just make sure that it's profitable before you start it because these prices are always changing and something that was profitable a month ago might not be so today. As far as the intensity of this money maker, I'd say it is very relaxing, super AFK, especially with all of the plugins that I have set up. It makes this a very chill money maker where we just left click on the pineapple ring and the plain pizza and then combine them. And of course we do have to hold the shift key down with the plugin that I am using, but that's not too bad. I was actually looking for a different way to do it. I could have sworn that there was a way that you can set up your left click to just be the use option, but I think that was removed from Runelight a while back, back when the clients were under investigation for um, some not so ethical plugins. But using the shift key is no problem and I will gladly use that instead of having to right click and then click use on the pineapple ring and the pizza. It is also worth mentioning that you can actually use the escape key to close the bank interface. I know in the past I've had some people comment on my videos asking how I do it and uh, I believe it's a rune light feature. It might actually be on the uh, vanilla client as well but I'm not too sure about that. One of the good things about this moneymaker are the requirements. There are no quest requirements. The only thing you need is 65 cooking to actually make the pizzas. And of course some money to buy the supplies. Now unfortunately there is no animation for making the pizzas. And this kind of let me down because a lot of these money makers where I speed up the one hour and we're chilling at the bank. Uh, my character would normally do some weird funny animation like head banging or hip thrusting. But with this there isn't any. This was kind of a letdown. I was kind of hoping that he'd hold the pizza in one hand and then sprinkle pineapple chunks with the other, kind of like Salt Guy. I think that'd be pretty cool. Maybe in the future they'll add that as some sort of qual update. Another thing that I found that was kind of interesting was how you can just add the whole pineapple ring to the pizza. You don't need a knife to cut it into smaller pieces. You're just throwing it on there and it magically turns into multiple pieces. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I'm not going to complain because if we had to take a knife with us, that would have ultimately led to us making less pizzas. Or we would have had to buy the other pineapple item, which I believe is pineapple chunks or something like that. But honestly, I prefer the pineapple rings over the chunks because it reminds me of the third age ring, which is basically the same thing. Just gray. Overall though, I'd say this is a pretty nice money maker. You're not going to be making a whole lot of money, but for the amount of effort that you have to put in and the requirements that are required for this, um, I'd say it's a pretty good deal. Very chill, decent money, and you also get some nice cooking experience, which I will show towards the end. I'd like to think that the price of pineapple pizzas won't really fluctuate too much, just because um, they are used for free-to-play PKing, I believe. They are pretty popular there, so hopefully they'll hold a decent value for a long time. But with that being said, we have finished our one hour of making pineapple pizzas. We can now do a small little price check to see how much in pizzas we have total. We still, of course, have to subtract the supply cost, but this is the value of all the pizzas together. Very close to 2.2 mil in pineapple pizzas. We can now go ahead and go to the GE to sell these off. I will put them in there for a price that I've determined to be somewhat decent because Again, with these pineapple pizzas, the prices are always jumping around, but I did a quick little price check on a pizza to see what it goes for and what it buys for, and 860 seemed to be a pretty nice price. And not too long later, they did sell, and now we can go ahead and collect all of the money. We can also do one final little price check to see what the total amount of money we got for the pizzas was, and the total amount is 2.1 mil. We can now go ahead and go to the next screen and calculate just how much we made from this one hour. As I stated earlier in the video, I did get pretty lucky on the pineapple rings, but just make sure you do a price check on the items before you decide to do this money maker. That way you can make sure that it is still a viable money maker. So if we subtract the total amount of money that we spent on supplies, which was 1,692,068 GP from the total amount of money that we made, which was 2,143,120 GP, we get a grand total profit of 451,052 GP. Now again, I'd say that this is a pretty decent money maker for the amount of effort needed and also the requirements. So yeah, not bad. 
We also managed to get a decent amount of cooking XP, which was just over 112,000 cooking XP. I just want to say thanks for checking out the video, and if you did enjoy it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and possibly a subscription. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode.